Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for February 2021 please. What do we have for Taurus please? Angel Spirits Guides, February 2021. There we go, two cards. Okay, so we have... The Eight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Message for Taurus, please. What is the message for Taurus? Thank you. February 2021. We have clarity. You see the crystal ball there? It can be new clarity on your future. Okay, message for Taurus, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, there's a message of reconsider here, Taurus. So I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is the first week, second card, second week, third card, third week, fourth card, fourth week. Um, but divine timing and all that, the messages may well overlap. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. star very nice energy card of aquarius the world the hermit my goodness i've got three major arcana here so far and i have the moon <laughs> four major arcana in the top row which is the big energies here taurus um so a lot of big energies happening in february for you Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Taurus, please. Thank you. We have the Two of Cups. Eight of Swords clarifies the world. Two of Wands clarifies the Hermit. Oh, I've pulled two cards, which is interesting. Oh, I've got the Star and the Six of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, I have the Five of Wands. Okay, Taurus, I mean, this is really nice energy because um, the Seven of Cups, as we know, can be hopes, dreams and wishes, choices. And the, the Eight of Wands is a card of action, taking action now, because there is movement, there is fast-paced change coming your way. Um, a real shift here towards new hopes, new dreams, new wishes, just hanging out there in the ether. ether. Um, Seven of Cups can sometimes be a card of confusion. You know, how do I move forward? How do I bring progress? How do I achieve one of my hopes, dreams and wishes? Well, the message is choose wisely. You trust your intuition because it's guiding you towards you know, certainly one of these cups at least. You know, this is a card of there are so many choices out there for you. Now is the time to take action. So it feels very beautiful here, Taurus. Now, sometimes the Eight of Wands can be about travel. 
So that might be in the mix for some of you as well. It's something that is going to affect your future. I'm definitely getting this future energy, clarity. Something that is going to affect or change your future. Um, I also get here as well, Taurus. I mean, that might there may well be some kind of online communication as well. Or maybe some kind of distance communication here. And the message is... The message is don't, if you feel you're going to dismiss something or someone this month, or if you don't think that something or someone is right for you, just hold back, reconsider. Um, yeah, yeah, really important message that because it feels that you're being, you're being given some kind of glimpse, some kind of hope or opportunity coming in that will affect your future here it feels quite a powerful energy and there is definitely i mean the eight of wands is out of the blue i mean it can be communication news um that is bringing a positive shift in your life to do with new hopes new dreams new wishes and i definitely see one of those two of cups being offered to you here um because the two of cups can be can be in terms of love. I mean, it certainly can be the beginnings of a new relationship. And the star energy is a card of hope. Have faith. Whatever this is, I mean, the Two of Cups can also be offer, opportunity, invitation here. Um, but it definitely feels that this is something that is absolutely right, right for you. Uh, the star is a card of blessings, divine wish fulfillment as well. So... Again, a lot of this kind of energy of something that is very close to your heart here is being offered to you. And it's the beginnings of something that is going to bring very swift, fast change. The state of sword energy... What is it that you are holding on to, Taurus, here that is stopping you drawing a line into something, you know, that is stopping you going for this? Because it feels like there is some mental block here and this is where you need to reconsider. I feel in this energy, this, is, this might be something, whatever this opportunity, offer, invitation is, in whatever context for you, it might be something that you might dismiss. And yet, it allow, it's allowing you to draw a line under one cycle and start a new cycle, step into a new phase of your life. Um, yeah, it's interesting energy. It feels in this kind of energy, this is where you need to probably reconsider because there may well be some kind of gut reaction here. I mean, the world card is a card of success, again. I mean, it could well be to do with some kind of success, goal achievement, um, completion of one cycle, moving forward to another phase of your life. I mean, this can be an energy of where the mind is the, is the prisoner here as well. How you're looking at something can determine success or failure. Uh, you know, and it definitely determines success, success or failure here. So just be careful of that in this week. Because how you're perceiving something could change the success of this. There's still a card of healing here. Which is interesting. I mean, that the Hermit is a card of introspection. It's a card of healing. So it could be to do with this negative thinking or something holding you back here in your mind, in your mental capacity, how you're seeing something. And the Hermit Energy, a card of Virgo, is a card of healing, finding illumination from within. Um, and understanding how to make a choice or a decision here and it feels to do with your future. I'm definitely getting this energy about some decision about your future. It feels in this situation, there will be an energy of reconsider, shine the light on something, find illumination from within. 
And for some of you, you will then understand how you need to take action, make some kind of decision about your future moving forward. Yeah. Because the star energy is a card of new hope. Now it could be when you might have been waiting for some kind of offer or an invitation. And I definitely see the offer or an invitation being here with the Two of Cups. Uh, there's definitely an energy with the Six of Pentacles if it's your time to receive. Um, I mean, this can be somebody reaching out to you, offering you something as well in this kind of energy. And the Moon is an energy of hidden blessings. You are being guided here. But I love the energy that the fact that the star is appearing twice at the beginning and end of your reading because I see the six of pentacles very much linked to the hopes, dreams and wishes that it feels is being manifested by this two of cups, the offer, the opportunity being offered to you here, kindred spirits, um, you know, in whatever life context, that could be a work context, that could be a love context. It definitely feels for some of you that there is change on the cards here and you're being guided towards that. The moon is a card of trust your intuition. You are absolutely being guided. It's also a card of hidden blessings. But again, I'm getting this energy with the five of wands of conflict or being conflicted. Being conflicted in going for something now. And again, this is that reconsider energy. It feels... Let's clarify this Five of Wands. There's definitely an energy of even, even though you don't see the big picture, the universe does. And it's guiding you in a specific direction here. And it's being told that whatever this opportunity is that's coming into you, this offer, opportunity, invitation, it is the right one for you. Even though you might not know it, which is a curious thing for me to say. Um, let's clarify this Five of Wands. Yeah, the Three of Wands, which is the beginnings of success. Again, I've got the, with the Four of Cups. I mean, the Three of Wands, again, is an action card. It feels more, I'm getting more in terms of, I mean, yeah, the Five of Wands can be about conflict. It might well be that you're aligning to some kind of new path here as a result of some conflict, something that you've been healing from here, something that you've been, has been difficult to move on from, but it feels like you're wrestling with your own inner conflict as well. Because certainly with the star, I'm getting that sense of an inner renewal of self, you know, reconnecting to who you are. So it definitely feels in this energy, put your energy in the right direction. Because this is manifesting the new path. This is your ships coming in. This is an energy of something good is coming your way and it's growth energy it's expansion energy and it's by the choices that you make can like i said determine success or failure so there's definitely an energy this month of choose wisely and again that's what i was getting with the seven of cups a real hope dream and wish is open to you now i worry that you know the four of cups appearing sometimes generally when it's reversed more than anything but I definitely feel that because something good is coming your way, there's definitely an energy and it feels like this offer opportunity, something that you want to take action towards. You might miss it. You're being guided and it feels, again, we've got the cup energy here towards this offer invitation here. So I'm definitely, sometimes this can be about missed opportunities. So I, I definitely feel in this energy, this reconsider is quite important. There might be something that you want to dismiss out of hand. And the message is, you need to really reconsider this to get the full picture of the situation because this is something that is going to affect your future and that you're absolutely, it's a path that you're being guided towards, Taurus. Um, 
Again, there's growth, success, the beginnings of something exciting happening here, something good coming your way. And it feels in terms of offer, invitation, connection to a person, um, something really promising here. So, and like I said, some of you, it could be a distance thing. Some of you, it could be an online thing maybe for some of you. Um, but it definitely feels something that you really should consider because it's the right path for you. So be aware. I mean, guess that's the message here. Uh, interesting reading, Taurus. I mean, it feels very promising, I have to say. Two star energy is real hope. There is real hope and optimism um, and blessings from the universe here. So we have Bear, you are the light. It is safe to step fully into your light. Yeah, definitely. And that's beautiful energy. And we have Dear Trust. Approach the situation with a light heart. And again, it might well be a kind of blind trust, you know? Um, even though you don't see the big picture, the universe does. And that's what you're being told. Um, because it might well be somebody or some, there is a reason, something or someone may be reaching out to you. And it is all part of aligning to this path. So just trust it, you know, don't question it. Interesting reading. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Taurus. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.